I'm Phil Lockwood. I'm going to tell you about some of the new improvements on the 2010 Rotax 912 ULS. Uh, first off, we've gone to a 2,000 hour TBO and one of the things that's enabled us to attain that 2,000 hour TBO is a new crankcase. Now in fact, uh, many of the engines produced over the last three or four years actually have the new crankcase and you can tell if your engine has that crankcase by looking at the cylinder head bolts, the exposed cylinder head bolts and you'll see that the ones that have the new case do not have any washer underneath the cylinder head nut right here that holds that, that in place. If there's a single washer there, it's the old style case. So if you have the new style case, then all you have to do is change this bolt which holds the oil pressure regulating spring in place. There's a new style one available now that comes stock on the 2010 engines and that with a new spring will allow those engines to go up to 2,000 hours as long as all the other service bulletins are uh, complied with. Now, another great improvement on the 2010 model are the new ignition modules. You can tell if it's got this yellow stripe on it, this yellow code, it is one of the new boxes. And they have a more sophisticated uh, spark advance to go from startup spark timing to uh, the running timing. The old boxes, were set at four degrees before top dead center for startup and when they hit about 800 rpm they would jump to the 27 degrees this new box instead of doing that at about 800 rpm it goes to a little bit better spark retard three degrees after top dead center which is much better for a smooth start and it doesn't advance to the 26 degree setting until the engine uh, reaches 2500 RPM or several seconds after you release the uh, starter button and that's a, that's a much better setup. Makes for a very smooth startup. Also on the newer engines you'll find a slipper clutch in the gearbox which is a standard feature. They put a new uh, coating uh, to help prevent corrosion on the carburetors. Uh, they've got a new plating on the carb bowls also to help prevent corrosion. We have new uh, uh, ignition wiring mounts uh, so the, the, uh, all the ignition plugs are now tied directly to the modules which are mounted in rubber as they've always been and uh, that helps increase the life of all the wiring harness. Another nice, uh, nice refinement. And uh, the new engines also come with uh, fire sleeving on the fuel pump lines and they use a special uh, fireproof line to the carburetors as well from the splitter box. So, you see some more refinement in the areas of uh, uh, resisting high temperature fire problems. You know, those are the main changes on the 2010 model. Um, as I mentioned, the new cases are really allowing us to run uh, straight up to uh, 2,000 hours. And I think it's important to note too that Rotax didn't just jump to this time, this 2,000 hour TBO, just overnight on a whim. They started with this engine, the, the 81 horsepower version in 1989 more than 20 years ago now, we started with a 600-hour TBO. Then with, with changes and advancements and field information, we went to 1,200 hours, 1,500 hours, and now on the latest engines to 2,000 hours. So a lot of uh, refinement over the years and a lot of experience. And the certified version, the 912S, is also at 2,000 hours. Aero TV is brought to you by. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.